Welcome to First Baptist Church Children's Sunday School online program. How are you guys? I wish you all the best and always be blessed. Let us worship our Lord together. Father God, thank you for the gift of your word and the countless ways that it points us back to you. Thank you for what the Bible teaches us, for the ways it encourages and guides us. Give us a desire to focus and pay attention to what you tell us and give us the strength to take what we learn from your word and apply it to our lives each and every day. Fill our hearts with a desire to know you more and more. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Guys, this summer, the latest movie in Marvel Cinematic Universe uh, is released. The movie called Black Widow. Wow. It was the first movie focusing on this Avenger 2 premiere. Have any of you seen Black Widow? You may write the comment in the commentary column below. Some of you may have also heard about the dispute between the actress who plays Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson and Disney. Have any of you heard about the dispute? Scarlett decided to sue Disney. Wow! Why? For releasing her movie on the Disney plus streaming service and in theaters at the same time. She claims this was a breach of contract. Disney, on the other hand, claims that there was nothing in her contract, which said the movie couldn't release on streaming and in theater simultaneously. Both Scarlett Johansson and Disney blame each other. What has been your experience with the blame game, either as the one who was blamed or the one who blamed someone else. Sometimes, you know, if you fight among your friends in school and when your principal call you and your friends and you are starting blaming each other, you say your friends start first, your friends say that 
you start first and you keep blaming each other. By doing that, you are giving in to temptation or making big mistakes. Wanting to find somewhere to cast the blame of our problems is just a common thing. Let's find out what got us in this mess and what can be done about it. There was a snake in the Garden of Eden. This snake was not a regular snake, but was really the devil in the form of a snake. The devil began to talk to Eve and try to trick her. The devil wanted Eve to disobey God by eating the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Remember, God had already told Adam not to eat the fruit. Eve was not allowed to eat it either. Both Adam and Eve knew what God said would happen if they ate from the tree. The devil lied to Eve and said she would not die if she ate the fruit. The devil told her that if she ate the fruit, she would become like God, knowing good and evil. Eve believed the devil's lies and ate some of the fruit. Then she gave some of the fruit to Adam. Adam also disobeyed God and ate the fruit. God had warned Adam about the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, saying, For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. And this was exactly what happened. On the outside, Adam and Eve were still living, but on the inside, they died spiritually. You see, when God created Adam and Eve, He made them spiritually alive. Their job was to obey God, and they were able to obey Him. But at the moment Adam and Eve disobeyed God and ate the fruit, they died spiritually. It was still their job to obey God, but now they were not able to obey Him anymore. In the Bible, Jesus says the devil is a liar and the father of lies. John 8, 44. The devil tricked Eve by lying to her. He said she would not die if she ate the fruit. But she and Adam both died. They died spiritually. The devil told Eve something good would happen if she ate the fruit. But this was also a lie. God never lies. He told Adam and Eve not to eat of the tree in order to protect them. He said if they ate of it, they would die, and they did. This was a sad day. But on this sad day, God also gave a promise of hope to Adam and Eve, a promise that is also for us today. What do you think might happen if God had not corrected Adam and Eve? You are right. As they would not have trusted God, they would not feel a need to obey in the future. And they will get a trouble, of course. They would have grown farther and farther from God. That's why God corrected them. Thank God He made a way for our relationship with Him to be restored. We sin, we may experience correction. We repent by confessing our sin and turning back to God. God forgive us and loves us unconditionally. We are free to move forward in our relationship with God. Now, think back on the many times you have been corrected for big and small things. Think about other things that you have done that you have not yet confessed to God. Quietly thank God for the correction you have received. Ask for the forgiveness for what you have done wrong. Let us pray. 
Heavenly Father, thank you for your message today that remind us that we always have to obey you and trust you. And we also have to be willing to accept your correction in our life. Thank you, Lord, for giving us salvation and free us from our sin. Able us, Lord, to follow your way in every day of our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs>